So, I'm here to say, if a person have not got far in the Word of God, and especially any woman that's your age, now this is why the Bible tells us as parents that we are to train our children. We're supposed to raise our children, not just raise, but train our children in this way. So therefore, nobody's without an excuse to say, hey, I haven't got that far. Because here's the thing. As people, we make time to watch whatever we want to watch on the internet, whatever it is we watch on Netflix, TV, or whatever we want to put before our eyes. And the thing about it is, there's nobody putting a gun to our head making us watch what we watch to entertain ourselves. We choose not to entertain ourselves with this Word of God. The only way that I know what it is I know is because I had to sit down, buckle down, and open up the book. Nobody put a gun to my head and make me do this. That's the thing. So, and I know it's a little off subject. We're talking relationships. But I got to touch on this because there's a lot of people that say they love God. You go ask the average person, do you love God? And you know the first thing they're going to say? Yeah. Okay, let me ask you a question. I just answered it for you. So you answered it, but I watched this. So I want the viewers, I want y'all to take use this example. I'm going to tell you, no, you don't love God. Okay, we have some conversation before. Go ahead. Okay, now, how can I say that you don't love God? Because the Bible says in the book of John, chapter 1, verse 1, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So when a person tell me they love God, if they tell me they know God, it's easy for me to say you're lying. No, you don't. Now, I know that might sound judgmental, but it's the truth. Because if God and His Word is one and the same, you cannot tell me you know God when you don't know His Word. You can't tell me you love God when you, you don't love reading His Word. People ain't in love with God like they say they are. So when people tell me that, and then they tell me, nah, I ain't got to the book. But you can tell me what Cardi B said. You can tell me what Nicki Minaj said. And I'm, I don't know I'm talking to females, but let me. Okay. So, so, no, no, I'm just, you know, in general. And I'm, and I, you know, not, nothing against Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. Uh, but the thing is, let's, let's keep it 100. Some of you dudes out there, you can tell me what J. Cole said, what Jay Z said, and Lil Nas. <laughs> not, uh, not nothing against him, neither. You know what I'm saying? Nothing against him. Because, you know, hey, listen, he can repent and he can get it right. So, you know, I just had to throw that in there because I know a lot of y'all be getting at the young guy. But, hey, I want to see him born again, saved, baptized, and filled with the Holy Ghost. You know what I'm saying? But I know right now he may not be promoting that. You know, right now he may, you know, but we want, we, you know, truly, you know, we want that young man to be saved. You know, it's nothing against him. But what he's representing now just ain't, it ain't God. So, but what I'm saying is as people, we have to change. And within this change, this is how relationships will begin to flourish and they will begin to work and they will begin to have success. A lot of people are not going to have success in their relationship because there is no boundaries. In the society we live in today, women are now, uh, you know, they have, the, in my opinion, they have a mentality of, I'm independent, I make my own money, I can get my own bag, I write my own check. I don't need a man for nothing. So with that being said, with people having that particular mind or mentality, I think this is where a lot of things are going wrong because you know what? That mentality does not tie into the Word of God. That mentality is not really equal, does not really give you freedom. Just because a woman has a lot of money, can write her own check, got her own bag, that means nothing because in this world in this society that we live in if anything happens to that woman just say for instance here's a woman oh I write my own check I, I got my own bag but that writing your own check and your own bag has nothing to do with when and especially you know a lot of times you know if, if something was to happen to that woman that woman will want somebody to come to her aid because Having your own bag or writing your own checks or having money, there's a lot of things that money can buy. And we understand that money can't buy, like you can buy a bed, but you can't buy sleep. You can buy a house, but you can't really buy 
peace. There's things that only God can give. There's a lot of things that you can purchase with finances, but you cannot purchase things that you need. If that make any sense. So what I'm saying is, like a lot of women talk about joy and happiness. Yeah, I guess you can have fun and maybe have joy if you have a lot of money. But just think about it. If you're the only person on the planet and you got millions of dollars, but you all alone. Millions of dollars now mean what? Nothing. Millions of dollars don't mean nothing. If you got all the money in the world, but if you're on the planet all by yourself, you would trade that for company. You would trade some of that money to buy companionship. And, you know, there's certain things that people give. And um, anyway, but chime in. What you got to say? So tap, uh, tap back into the relationship side. You've been married for 14 years. Let me ask you a question. Since you've been married, uh, what the, what, is this actually, would this be your first marriage? Mm -hmm. First marriage. Um, we were talking earlier about, you know, a, a woman being able to follow, you know, if, if she's in a marriage, being able to follow the lead of the husband. What, what, what kind of things you think will prevent a lady from following her husband? What kind of things? And you can, you know, I mean, we t I made the question general, but if you want to just think, what kind of things do you think? Maybe even prevent yourself from following me. But I'm saying the one that, you know, we have talked about on the last couple of videos. Polygyny. Okay. Outside of polygyny. I mean, we could talk about that. But let's set polygyny aside. Would there be any other things that I, you know, perhaps, you know, if I'm moving in a certain way, what will prevent you or stop you? Um. So, uh, well, let me ask you this. Uh, have I ever put my hands on you, no. slap you, push you down, and none of that? Um, well, I mean, um, I mean, because the way I see it, if you've been married for 14 years and you haven't left, now you've been upset with me before. Oh, quite a few times, yes. Um, hmm. I mean, hmm. I mean, you've been in a lot of relationships before in your past, I'm sure. Um, and I mean, I'm no, not saying no really. number. No, not really. Not really? Okay. Because y'all haven't been in, only been in really two relationships. You only been in two relationships. What my baby needs, and that was it. Okay. Well, I love my children. They want to act right now, I don't know. 